The dress wrangling is done. <laughs> it is. Well, good afternoon and welcome. My name is Patrick Smiley. I'm an Alberta Marriage Commissioner. It is an honor and a privilege to be here with all of you today. Kristen and Corey would like to thank everyone for joining us here today and those who are also joining us virtually. They are pleased that so many friends and family are here to share this special moment in time that they're changing, exchanging their wedding vows. Each one of you has been important in their lives and they look forward to your love and support in the future as they begin life as a married couple. They would like to take a moment to reflect on those who cannot be here with us today. While they might no longer be with us physically, Kristen and Corey feel them here today and would like to take a moment to remember them and honor their influence on who Kristen and Corey have become today. And so we're gathered together in this beautiful setting to witness the formal joining of Corey and Kristen in the legal state of matrimony. You are to be married according to the orders, customs, and the authority granted by the province of Alberta. Matrimony, as understood by us, is a state enriched by a long and honorable tradition of devotion where each participant is equal and supports the common rights of one another to the marriage. When two people choose to be married and bond their lives to each other, they are certain they have something special to make that commitment last. There is a desire for lifelong companionship. Couples will support and comfort each other through the changing experiences of life. Marriage means caring as much about the welfare and happiness of your marriage partner as about your own well-being. Marriage also means working together to create and sustain a home in which your marriage will flourish. Marriage is a promise, a potential made in the hearts of two people who love each other, and it takes a lifetime to fulfill. It is with this understanding that Corey and Kristen wish to be joined in marriage. I now call upon you both in the presence of these witnesses to repeat after me. Kristen, I'm going to start with you. I do solemnly declare... I do solemnly declare that I do not know that I do not know of any lawful impediment of any lawful impediment by I Kristen Leanne Ginther by I Kristen Leanne Ginther may not be joined in matrimony may not be joined in matrimony to Corey Daniel Doherty to Corey Daniel Doherty and Corey I do solemnly declare I do solemnly declare that I do not know that I do not know of any lawful impediment of any lawful impediment by I Corey Daniel Doherty by I Corey Daniel Doherty may not be joined in matrimony may not be joined in matrimony to Kristen Leanne Ginther to Kristen Leanne Ginther Let's take your flowers and pass these back Joining hands So for today's ceremony you've chosen Union by Robert Fulgham. You have known each other from the first glance of acquaintance to this point of commitment. At some point, you decided to marry. From that moment of yes to this moment of yes, indeed, you have been making promises and agreements in an informal way. All those conversations that were held riding in a car or over a meal 
or during long walks. All those sentences that began with, when we're married. Those late night talks that included, someday, somehow, and maybe. And all those promises that are unspoken matters of the heart. All these common things and more are the real process of a wedding. The symbolic vow vows that you're about to make are a way of saying to one another, you know all those things we promised and hoped and dreamed. Well, I meant it all, every word. Look at one another and remember this moment in time. Before this moment, you've been many things to one another. Acquaintance, friend, companion, lover, dancing partner, and even teacher. For you've learned much from one another in these last eight years. Now you shall say a few words that shall take you across the threshold of life, and things will never be quite the same between you. For these vows, you shall say to the world, this is my husband, this is my wife. So I ask you give answer to these questions. Corey, do you take Kristen to live together in marriage? Yes. And do you promise to love Kristen, to honor and protect her, and be faithful only to Kristen for so long as you both shall live? Yes. And Kristen, do you take Corey to live together in marriage? I do. And do you promise to love Corey, to honor and protect him, and be faithful only to Corey for so long as you both shall live? These are the marriage vows. Corey, please repeat after me. I call upon those persons present. I call upon those persons present. To witness that I, Corey Daniel Doherty. To witness, of, to witness that I, Corey Daniel Doherty. Do take you, Kristen Leanne Ginther. Do take you, Kristen Leanne Ginther. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. And share my life with me. To share my life with to share my life with me. From this day forward. From this day forward, in whatever circumstances, in whatever circumstances, or experiences, or experiences, life may hold for us. Life may hold for us. And now, Kristen, I call upon those persons present. I call upon those persons present to witness that I, Kristen Leanne Ginther, to witness that I, Kristen Leanne Ginther, do take you, Corey Daniel Doherty, do take you, Corey Daniel Doherty, to be my lawful wedded husband, to be my lawful wedded husband, to have and to hold, to have and to hold, and share my life with me, and share my life with me, from this day forward, from this day forward, in whatever circumstances, in whatever circumstances, or experiences, or experiences, life may hold for us. Life may hold. Now, Corey and Kristen have prepared their own personal vows to each other as well. Who would like to go first? I'll go. Ladies first. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Corey, I choose you to be my husband. I choose you as you are, loving who you are now and you, who you have yet to become. I choose to be your cheerleader on the good days when the Oilers win and your supporter on the bad ones when we go somewhere nice and I make you wear something other than shorts. <laughs> I promise to love and cherish you as much as I do our dog, Bella, and hope to one day have as much control over you as she does. <laughs> Being proud that uh, you are selfless enough to put everyone else before you and accepting that we can never ever go anywhere new to eat because of your pickiness. It's getting better. <laughs> I promise to always let you carry the heavy stuff in from the car and, and continue breaking things so that you can MacGyver them back together. I promise to never stop glaring at you when we're watching a movie and you successfully predict the end of the ending, <laughs> therefore ruining the movie for me. I will never tell anyone what your actual favorite movie is and trick people into thinking that it's Transformers, like you say. Mm -hmm. I will choose you, even when you frustrate me. My love for you won't fade, won't simply fade, because we are momentarily angry. I still choose you. I can't wait to continue our lives together as we begin to build a family filled with children and eventually more dogs. I will choose to grow with you as we continue to build our lives together no matter where we live. We will learn from each other to be patient, kind, giving, 
as you continue to advance my automotive education about engines and older vehicles that, let's face it, I won't ever care about. I will choose you and keep choosing you every single day. I love you. All right, Corey, you have two minutes for your rebuttal. <laughs> <laughs> Hard to beat that. <laughs> it's not a competition. Yes, it is. <laughs> In the end, she wins. Kristen, I choose you to be my wife. I choose you as you are, loving who you are now and who you are yet to become. I choose you to. I choose to be your uh, cheerleader on the good days when there's a sale at Lululemon or at Old, or, or Old Navy, and talk into getting some new clothes. And your supporter on the bad days when Bella ends up going to the vet and we're both worried. I promise to love and cherish you as much as I do our dog, Bella, being proud of your generous, calm, patient, kind, loyal, mature, trusting and unselfishness and accepting your indecisiveness sometimes. <laughs> I promise to always be by your side. I guess it makes me I guess that makes you Batman and I'm Robin. I'm okay with that because in the end, you tell me what to do and I will do it. No matter how easy or, or how hard the task is. I promise to be the shoulder you cry on, the pillow you want to lay on, the heater for when you get cold, and give you as much as a bed you want. I will never get on your bad side. I never want to see it. <laughs> You're a quiet, relaxed, calm person 99.9% .9 of the time. And I already get the stare once in a while. I already get the stare once in a while. And just a stare alone tells me to stop. Because I don't want to do something stupid. So I hope to never push you to that point. The stare is fine. I will choose you even when you frustrate me. My love for you won't fade simply because we are momentarily angry. Still, I choose you. I can't wait to spend every single minute with you today, after today, and to start the next chapter in our lives together. I will choose to grow old, oops, sorry, I will choose to grow with you as we continue to build our life together no matter where we live. We will learn from each other to be patient, kind, and giving as you show me when you're doing one of your one of your puzzles and how calm and quiet you are and focused on completing your puzzle. I will choose you and keep choosing you every single day. I love you always. No stare for you. <laughs> Not yet, that's the thing. Wedding rings are an outward symbol of the marriage vows you've made to each other today. The circular shape of the wedding ring has always had significance from ancient times to the present as a symbol of wholeness and perfection, having no beginning and no end. And we'll start with Kristen's ring first, please. Give that to Corey. And having exchanged these marriage vows, Corey, you may place the ring on the third finger of Kristen's left hand, repeating after me, Kristen, I give you this ring. Kristen, I give you this ring. That you may wear it. That you may wear it. As a lasting reminder. As a lasting reminder. Of our marriage vows. Of our marriage vows. And as a symbol. And as a symbol. Of my love. Of my love. And commitment to you. And commitment to you. And for Corey's ring next, please. That's a big word. Now, Kristen, you may place the ring on the third finger of Corey's left hand, repeating after me. Corey, I give you this ring. Corey, I give you this ring. That you may wear it. That you may wear it. As a lasting reminder. As a lasting reminder. Of our marriage vows. Of our marriage vows. And as a symbol. And as a symbol. Of my love. Of my love. And commitment to you. And commitment to you. And joining hands again. Corey and Kristen, as important as this ceremony is, the foundation of your marriage 
was formed long before we came to be here today, and that is the love you share. Love is gentleness. Love is kindness. Love understands and love forgives. It is loyal through good and bad. Love hopes for the future. Love is everlasting. Love makes up for the things that you may not have. And without love, no matter what you do have, it will never seem to be enough. So grow together in love. The best is yet to come. And now, ladies and gentlemen, this is the declaration. Corey and Kristen, you have consented in marriage. You've declared your solemn intention before these witnesses and in my presence. You've exchanged these rings as your pledge of love to one another. You've joined your hands to accept one another. As you begin your marriage, let your home be a place of peace and happiness in an ever-changing world. Let your relationship be one of complete truth, love, and understanding between you both. May you enjoy long lives, fulfill your hopes and dreams, feel content as you live day by day, keeping the promises you've made today to each other, and let your love for one another be as enduring and timeless as the mountains that surround us. And now, upon the authority vested in me by the province of Alberta, I happily pronounce you are now a husband and wife. Corey, you may kiss your bride. All right, so we've got some paperwork to do. I will grab that. <laughs> And we'll have our witnesses join us as well, please. Okay, Corey, I'm going to have you hold that nice and firmly. We're going to have Kristen sign first. So just turn this way just a little bit. One more like away again. Yeah. <laughs> and so Kristen, you're going to be right there next to that X. Okay, now you'll hold this for Corey. Corey will sign next. There. And Nicole. Okay, so you guys are just going to hold that that way. Just angle it slightly towards Nicole. And we are going to sign right there. I'll fill in the rest of your information later. Okay, and Brittany. Right there, please. Okay, then uh, look towards <coughs> look towards Cole. A big smile there. Perfect. Let's get one more signature on there. Make it all official, and we'll get your bouquet back as well. Okay, so I'm going to take the license, I'll send that off to Edmonton, I'll get it all processed up there, and uh, you'll get you'll get the license in Banff here, right? Yeah. And so they've ordered the, they order the permanent certificate for you. Yeah. So I'll just put all this in an envelope, it'll have uh, the vows in there as well, copy of your ceremony and marriage statement, so a temporary proof of marriage. Okay. All right, so just facing your guests perfectly. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce to all of you for the very first time the newlyweds, Mr. and Mrs. Doherty. Job to watch. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.